Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Deidre from Our Upcycled Life. Today I am going to show you how I'm going to upcycle a coffee canister. I got all kinds of these Tim Hortons canisters. I hate throwing them out. So um, I'm going to show you today how I'm going to upcycle it into a Christmas cookie container and it is so stinking cute. So let's get started. Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to upcycle this Tim Hortons coffee container. Um, if you're Canadian, you know Tim Hortons. It's uh, very popular here. I have all kinds of these canisters and I hate throwing them out. So I'm going to upcycle this one into a Christmas cookie container. I've got a scrap piece of wood that I'm gonna use. I wanna make a wooden top for it. Um, so I'm gonna take the lid off of the coffee canister, place it on the wood and then draw the circle into the wood. And then I'm gonna take my jigsaw and I'm gonna cut that circle out. You have to just go really slow and take your time as you're cutting it out. It is a little bit hard to get around all of the corners, but hang tight. It's really going to bounce around here. Um, my camera on the floor is not friendly with the jigsaw going. And then I'm going to take my sander and sand it all down nice and smooth. And that's going to be the wooden lid for the top of my cookie canister. I got some Minwax wood stain. This is the golden oak. And I wanna put a coat of stain on this lid that I'm gonna put on the top of the coffee canister. I'm then gonna take the plastic top and spray paint it with some black. And I'm also gonna spray paint the bottom of the canister just with a light coat of the black also. I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna bring it into my craft room and paint it up. Okay, my top is all dry. The stain is all dry. I wanna glue this onto the top of that. I'm gonna use my E6000. Let's hope it cooperates. It's starting to dry out a little bit. I need to buy another another tube of it, but I think it's gonna cooperate. I think, I think I'm gonna get enough out of it. I'm just gonna put the E6000 all around it. And then I'm gonna use my hot glue gun just to hold it in place, just to give it a little bit of an extra glue. Perfect. And then I'm gonna stick that wooden round that we made on the top. And I think I wanna use this one. I'm gonna make sure, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure I've got it centered this way. And then just press it down really hard. And then I'm gonna set it aside and let it dry really well. My canister is all dry. I just put a really light coat of the black on it. Um, just to kind of mask up some of that red. And I've mixed up some homemade chalk paint in white, and I'm just gonna paint the whole canister. First coat's all dry, and now I'm gonna put on a second coat. Now I'm gonna custom make my own Christmas napkin. Um, this is just a napkin that I had. It's three ply, so I'm gonna take off the two plies so I'm just left with the white sheet on the bottom. I have a full tutorial on how to custom make these napkins. I'll put a link down below in the description and you can check that out because um, it's really a cool technique to custom make your own napkins if you can't find what you want to craft with. The first thing that I wanna do is I wanna press out all these creases in the napkin. So I've got it down on an ironing pad um, I got a piece of parchment paper and lay it on top of that serviette or napkin and then I'm just going to just iron it. I've got my iron set it on the highest setting with no steam and that's going to get rid of all those lines in that napkin and we'll be ready to print on it. I've got my glue tape and I'm just going to put a little bit along the sides and in the corners. And that's just gonna hold that napkin in place when we put it through the printer. And I'm just gonna take the paper and just center it over the napkin, making sure there's no wrinkles, and then press it right down. And then I'm gonna get my scissors and trim off all the edges, and then it's ready to print on. We're ready to load it into the computer. Make sure you're putting your napkin in so it prints on that side and then we're ready to print. We're gonna do the water transfer method. Um, I printed off on my napkin and I'm just going to trim it off. 
and cut it almost to the size that we're going to need. And I love using this technique because it blends right into the paint and there's no wait time. You just put it on and it's finished. And we're just gonna take the napkin off that piece of paper. And as you can see, now we've printed our own custom napkins. Now when doing this, I've just got a plastic sleeve and you want to put your graphic facing down. So when you pick it up, you can put it on your project. So we're gonna put it face down. And then you're gonna take a little bit of water. I just have a little bit of water in a dish and a little rag and you're just gonna just kind of soak that just really carefully until the napkin is completely wet. And you're just gonna very carefully get any wrinkles or bubbles out. And that looks pretty good. And then what I like to do, I like to make the edges of the napkin kind of rough. You can use um, a really stiff paintbrush, or I found actually, if I just use the edge of my scissors, I can just pull away a little bit of that napkin, just so when you're putting it on your project, it just kind of blends in better and it doesn't give that straight edged look. And then after you've done that, just take away the paper that you've pulled off and work your way around the graphic. Now we're ready to put the graphic on the coffee can. This is a little trick. It's a lint roller. If you set it on your table and press your project into it, it won't roll around and it'll stay exactly where you want it, which works perfect. We're going to put some of the matte Mod Podge. I find matte is better because it blends in. If you're using a gloss, it will show the glossy um, outline on your project with the chalk paint. So I like to use matte and you're just gonna put the Mod Podge where that graphic is going to lay down and just a light coat you don't want it too thick and then you're going to pick up your graphic and the nice thing about this technique is you can move it around a little bit if you put it down and it's not exactly where you want it you can pick it up see so, you know, you can see you can pick it up and you can center it and put it exactly where you want it And then just take your fingers and from the middle, push out and get all the bubbles and wrinkles out of that graphic and make sure it's laying nice and flat. And then once you've got all the bubbles and the wrinkles out, you can just very carefully lift away that plastic sheet and your graphic is on your project. I then just like to take a paintbrush and just go around the edges and press all of those little edges in and make sure it's laying nice and flat. This is such a quick and easy way to do graphics. You don't have to rub anything off. You don't have to um, buy any expensive vinyl. All you need is just a napkin and the bottom sheet of it. Now I printed this off on my laser jet printer. You can also use an ink jet printer. The laser jet printer, the ink won't run. If you're using a laser or ink jet, you may have a tendency for your ink to run a little bit. So what I would do was before you put the napkin on your project, I would spray it with a little bit of hairspray to set that ink into it. Let the hairspray dry and then do this process. I've brought the container out into my shed because I want to give it a really good top coat that you can wipe down with a damp cloth. I'm going to use this engine enamel. It works really well and gives it a really hard seal. You can find it at automotive stores. It's on Amazon and you can also, if you're in Canada, find it at Canadian Tire. And it'll just allow you to wipe it down and 
be a little bit more durable if it's in the kitchen. I've taken a lid from another container and put it on the top because I don't want it to get in the inside. And I'm just gonna give it a couple coats and let it dry. And then it'll be all ready to put the lid on and fill with some cookies. In order to keep the lid a little bit more secure on the um, piece of wood, I've got some little tiny screws and I'm just gonna put a couple, I'm gonna put three in the lid just to keep it uh, in place better for when you're taking the lid on and off. And I'm just gonna screw them right down into the, through the lid into the piece of wood and it'll just help it from peeling off in case your glue doesn't stay put. I had this old handle in my stash. I think it's gonna work perfect on top of this. And I've got a couple screws and I'm just gonna screw it right into the top of the lid. Make sure it's centered where I want it. And just screw it down in. You wanna make sure you're picking screws that aren't gonna go right through into the plastic. You just want it to stay in the wood. And there you have an upcycled coffee canister and it was so easy to do and I love when I can take things out of the recycling bin and make something new and pretty. I left the screws on the top just the original color. I kind of think it gives it a nice rustic feel. I just used a scrap piece of wood that I stained for the top. Make yourself napkin graphics. So easy. So save those coffee containers and make them into some pretty Christmas decor. And if you love this video, you'll probably really like this one. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.